Paul said you struggled. Uh, Paul said to told us you struggled a little bit today. Yeah, I did. Uh, you got it. You know, I wasn't throwing very well. I was throwing high for some reason. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I guess a little anxious, I guess. Was that? Who was anxious? Like a pitcher thing where you just have a bad day, good day. Uh, yeah, I guess. You know, I, I can't really think of a practice that I've had. You know, it's been this bad. But uh, you know, it's practicing. It's is what it is. You get practice, you get better. So we'll be all right. Fine. Conditions play a part in. I mean, it played more worse weather than this. I mean, it is a little bit colder than in Colombia, or at least it feels like it. But, uh, you know, I don't think it's that big a part of the deal. What do you think a bowl win would mean for this team going into the... It'd be, I mean, it'd, it'd be huge for us, uh, you know, as far as momentum going into next year. And, uh, you know, the winter workouts, some workouts are just going through it. As a, you know, we got a young team. We're losing three stars on offense. But, uh, you know, we got an overall young team, and uh, it'll be big for us. You know, but we're going to practice in the... Uh, Get as prepared as possible for him. Kind of continuing what the Clemson win meant. Yeah, too. definitely. definitely. How was uh, Birmingham last night? It was fun. We uh, a couple of us went to a little sports restaurant, and did some trivia. So that's really that's really it. We actually came in second. So. Oh well. Blue Beach. And <laughs> well, I don't know. We only missed one question. So. Well, uh, uh, I don't know. We were using uh, Pat Marker's iPhone for the answer. So. <laughs> <laughs> You don't remember the one that stunk you? No. I, he didn't either. I, I mean, I thought we got all of them right, too, but apparently we didn't. What was your team name? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not. I, I, can't, I can't tell you. Sorry. Well, what, what would Bo would mean for you individually, personally? Uh, basically coming off of what happened about last year. Yes, you know, uh, Coach Mangus was just joking around over there. He said uh, he's calling this the Redemption Bowl, you yeah. know. 300 and uh, 66 days later, uh, you know, it'd be huge for uh, for me, but overall it'd be better for the team, you know. I'm just going to go out there and just play like I've been playing all season and, uh, you know, try to lead the team to victory. Nothing against your hometown, but is it kind of nice to have a bowl game not in your hometown? <laughs> I mean, I love Tampa. I mean, <laughs> it was fun in Tampa, but, uh, you know, it's, it's it'll be great to play in any bowl, you know, it doesn't matter where it is. Uh, but, I mean, if you're playing a bowl, you did something good during the season, so. I just mean pressure-wise, it had to be a little much on you last year after a while. I mean, that and the fact that I didn't really know anything about the offense or really anything about football, really, as opposed to now. But uh, that's, what it, uh, that's what it came down to. You have a chance to meet any of the UConn guys yet? No. I mean, we saw a few of them. Uh, we went to the sports place, but I didn't really you talk know, to them. You know any of them from recruiting trips? Or... Not that I know. So you're going right back to the hotel room, put on the UConn film, and uh, start studying your playbook? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll be uh, meeting with us. So, thank you, guys. Thanks, Steve. That is hard. Thank you.